Hello guys, this is Mantrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. We're going to be doing some frame rate tests and also show you the best settings for crash twin sanity. We are using large frame buffer, 2560 by 1440 as the custom resolution by linear PS2, and as the traffic filtering times 16. Uh, MIT mapping is off full safest and configure hacks we're using 16 times msa8 and skip draw 3. skip draw 3 is a must because there are some like artifacts on the screen that kind of get in your way so i would personally set it to three you can try one which i haven't tried yet i tried two and it doesn't work I tried three and it worked i played through the whole game on three yes i have finished this game recently uh, and there was nothing wrong with the game at three skip draw so and this is just a bonus. I'm running this game at 16 times MSA8, and yeah, holds up very, very well. I'll show you. This game also, this game allows MTVU, which is a hack that actually helps speed up your CPU, which makes the game, you know, keep at a locked 50 frames or 60 frames. I have downloaded the PAL version. As you see, I'm getting, this is, it's a 50 frames lock. Uh, NT, NTSC is 60. And anyway, so this is this is a locked 60, 50 frames on the PAL, and the game does target 50, it doesn't target 30. Just keep that in mind. So I've got this hack on to keep up the uh, CPU. I've got six cores, they want you to have three. Anyway. All right, so we're gonna check out the dimensions. This game targets 512 by 512. And um, let's have a look. So here is the, the, here is the 50 frames. Uh, it's not the smoothest thing in the world, but it is playable. Obviously, 50 frames is quite nice. Um, yeah, looks nice. Let's check out native 1440p. Now, at native 1440p, at 16 times MSAA, we still have 60, uh, 50 frames. Sorry, I'm so used to saying 60. We have 50 frames, and so far, it's actually holding up quite well. 1440p, 16 times MSAA, holds up quite well. Um, let's check out over here real quick. It's gonna give me an autosave here real quick, ready? No, it didn't give me an autosave screen. Normally it does, but anyway, let's just muck around a bit real quick. Oh, that was very close to my death. Let's have another look at, um, uh, what do you call it? 480, not 480p, um, native PS2. Oh, this area looks more demanding. I remember this area. Let's actually check it out at native PS2. Native 1440. Um, any slowdown? Mm. Nah. Look at all that stuff on the screen, though. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, um, equipment on the queen uh, on the queen. A lot a lot of equipment or collision or anything on the screen. Um, so which can cause slowdown. CPU intensive is uh, all the moving stuff on the screen can cause slowdown. I died. Uh, but anyway, this is pretty much Crash Twin Sanity. Holds up really well. The HUD is quite blurry, as you see, unfortunately. But that's what PS2 used to do back in the day. They had to make pretty blurry HUDs for the hardware to hold up. Anyway, so yep, that's pretty much it, really. There's nothing else to really test out. Actually, let's try something. You see all that nitro right there? I'm going to run into it on hardware mode, actually. I'm going to kill myself. This... Now this is going to be called an alpha effect. This is what you call them. You call them alpha effects when things explode on the screen or something that's heavy that happens. So ready? Nah, didn't even didn't even uh, have a hiccup at all. So this game holds up really really well. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you later.